On a spring morning, it's snow, unexpected and unwanted, that swirls around a place called Miracle Lodge near Stewartville, Minnesota. No matter, the lodge name still fits, Miracle. That's because the folks gathered at Miracle Lodge are here to go wild turkey hunting, snow, rain, or shine. <laughs> We follow the whole expression that says you never have a bad day to some better than others, you know. So. Yes, these turkey hunters are about to roll out into god-awful conditions, but they don't give a hoot. I think it's warm enough, the snow is melting. Yeah. <laughs> Miracles happen around Miracle Lodge. Right? You take what you get, count your blessing and blessings and make the best of it. Make the best of it? Maybe that's why this hunt for Minnesota's wild turkeys is so special in every way here at Ironwood Springs Christian Ranch. Special too for Bob Bardwell, the owner of Miracle Lodge. He's a miracle himself. And I'd gotten involved in a construction accident and so I always had a mission to someday serve the people with disabilities. And uh, so we started back in the 70s. And here Iron Ironwood's a type of tree here on the ranch, on Ironwood trees. A ranch of trees, turkeys, and hope. If we can think of anybody to serve, that's our mission to serve people. We love serving people. Some of them come here with, with not a lot of confidence and their self-esteem is low. And you can come to a camp and meet people and you can love these people. Tell them, you know, God loves you, we love you. We want to provide an environment where you can uh, find some healing and joy. It changes their whole life. You got our four-wheel drive? Yeah. <laughs> that's good. So, on a day not fit for hunting wild turkeys, these hunters in wheelchairs went forth anyway. After all, this hunt isn't just about shooting a bird. The turkey guides, volunteers with NWTF, the National Wild Turkey Federation, had reasons of their own to be in the woods. Eric Linder explains. The National Wild Turkey has a program called the Wheel and Sportsman Program that um, we do hunts across the state and across the nation um, for disabled people. I hope people will uh, be able to get out. It's been eight years. I broke my neck and they classified, classified me as a quadriplegic. So now I get to run around in my wheelchair instead of on my feet. <laughs> All we need is a turkey to come in our place here. Wind-blown decoys probably didn't help. Makes it a little more of a challenge. And most wild critters this morning didn't seem thrilled with the weather. 31 and about a 40 mile an hour wind. It's not bad in here though. Yeah. A big part of our uh, job is to make sure that there's turkeys around. Um, and now that there's a, a lot of an abundance of turkeys, is uh, um, to make sure people are aware of them and to continue uh, to get out and hunt. I used to, before my accident, the turkey, deer, bear. Today, hunting blinds, decoys, and crossbows make it possible to do it again. I made a trigger pull. I, I bite down on the clothespin and it pulls this brake cable, which pulls the trigger. So the bird will come up now. <laughs> this is about as tough as I've hunted in. It's been worth it. Okay, the weather was lousy, but did somebody say miracles happen here? Yes, he's gorgeous. More than one miracle this morning. So that's what they look like. That's what they look like. <laughs> That'd be perfect. More than one picture, too. Miracles are worth remembering. I always say that, uh, you know, disappointment and, and pain uh, is inevitable in life, but uh, misery is optional. And I always uh, choose to count my blessings. Thank God for the day, for my life, for my family. Good hunt. Great morning. And a miracle, too.